Guys, this is my old youth pastor. <laughs> <laughs> How do you even buy a truck like this? Uh, bad financial decisions. <laughs> Being single, not having kids. So I reached out to Rough Country. I asked him and said, hey, my youth pastor got a new truck. You guys want to partner up and get my light bar? So this is a light bar for your hundred. Dude, that's awesome. Where does it go? Uh, this should be for your front bumper. Dude, they're that's like, awesome. Yeah. They're, they're so expensive. I was like, oh, I'm not going to buy a light bar. Yeah, I think it's like 300 bucks. I know you go off-roading, like fishing and yeah. camping and stuff yeah, all the hunting time. hunting and stuff like that. So I know you really use your truck. So it should go right there. All right, so here's the finished product. Sits very flush with the bumper. Looks really good. I think they actually make a curved one as well. So if you didn't like the way it sticks out just a little bit, then you can get the curved one. It'll really fit the body line of the bumper. I got another surprise for you. All right, what is it? Those boxes right there. All right. Oh, by Rough Country again. Yep. So Rough Country liked you a lot. So <laughs> they saw how you actually use your light bar. Uh -huh. So they were like, all right, we'll send them more. That can be more practical. Oh, nice. More lights. Where do you install this at? So this is called a ditch light, uh -huh. specifically for Tundras. And you would put it right here. That's so awesome. So it would actually <clears throat> shine towards the ditches on the oh, side. Oh, wow. So yeah. your light bar should shine straight out and then you'll, you'll have two little pods Dude, actually, you know they talk about these headlights? Mm -hmm. They say that for turns, you can't even see that, that side. Mm -hmm. no, you can't see on the side. That's the big complaint of these tundras. That's cool, man. Dude, these are awesome. So, you got two. Dude. Yeah, those are big. Yeah, they're nice. Yeah, I think it's going to be two lights per side. Yeah, if it's two boxes. Yeah. Because there's another one right here. Yeah, pretty sure it's the same. Two per side. Ditch lights. Oh, it's gonna be easy to install. Oh, really? Yeah. I figured these would be hard. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's the same thing. Cool. So that'd be two on each side. And then the wiring harness. Yep. Oh yeah, the electrical's the same. So does that mean... All right, so it's just one big harness. What's the different? That's a tailgate light bar. Do you have one of those? Is that, does this go <coughs> underneath this part? Yeah. Right here? Oh, you don't have one, so that's perfect. Nice. So people can see you when you're breaking. We ran into a small little dilemma. Um, these connectors one plug for each pod and uh, the wiring harness that we got only has two we need four so we splice these two into one connection same thing over there so that way we can just use one wiring harness and one switch to power all four of the LED pods yep cool All right, pull. Pull. Uh oh. Popped out. Like, uh, especially because you know I, I, I go to Lowe's every day. Yeah. And they're like, "Hey, that's a nice truck. You put that in there." <laughs> Light box. I'm like, "Yeah." And that is awesome. Can demand demanding respect around here with the light bar. Yeah, that's really bright. It's yeah. blinding me right now. I know, you can't even stare at it. So he wanted this one pointed down, obviously for for the ditch. 
And that's kind of the beauty of these ditch pods, dual ditch pods, because you can have it however you want. You know, if he's probably gonna go kayaking pretty pretty soon here, and then while you're out there, you can adjust it however you want to. Yep. And uh, hunting season's coming up soon. And then we're gonna mount it. Oh, he mounted it right here, which is perfect. And this is for the light bar. Oh yeah, you're gonna. So you got all the lights. Yep. Yeah. If they put, if we put another one here, that'd be kind of overkill. You think so? Do they have these? Yeah. Cause I, we're actually gonna do it. <laughs> oh, that would be awesome. <laughs> we're actually gonna do it. I'm pretty sure. But we'll have to figure out a way to wire that switch up with the light bar. So that oh, way yeah. you don't have like three switches. Right. Ultimately, we kind of wanted to do it where that worked with this, but we'll, yeah. You like it? <laughs> Dude, look how awesome it is. That's so cool. That's so cool. Yeah, this is his first truck, but he does go hunt a lot, so. Hunting, kayaking, fishing, camping in the woods, hiking. He's a redneck Korean. <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple of us now. <laughs> Take some time. Ah oh, man, that's awesome. All right, I just need to spotlight people now. I just want to see how bright that is at oh, night. I wish it was dark. Right? And then it comes with these covers, so that way if you just want to cover them up while you're driving, let's say like long distances, this will kind of prevent your LEDs from getting chipped from rocks. But yeah, it looks good. Yeah, those look cool too. Mm -hmm. They look clean. Yeah, I don't put mine on there. No. Because uh, you may need it. Well, people see it too. Like, oh, yeah. Might have to get you some new headlights, maybe. Maybe need to talk to Alpha X USA about some headlights or maybe some bulbs. Forgot yeah, to mention. It's, it's short. It's short? It's a shorter tailgate light bar? It's not all the way across. I can get you ones that are actually Oops. the full length. <sighs> It doesn't matter. I mean, yeah. I think this is just for the stopping and yeah. backing up. This is not for, um, you know, because the one is like the right and the left. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that is a cool space to put I something mean, there. We can get you one that's like full length, like my truck. Oh uh, yeah, what did you, where did you put yours? I tapped into my trailer brake. From underneath? Yeah, trailer plug. Oh yeah, I see it. You can see mine's got like oh, six but it's different plug wires. And, it's plug and play. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, nice. Dude, I like this too. The hitch. Yeah. Oh, the double hitch. Oh, that goes on a standard receiver? Yep. <gasps> Gen Y. So this is a flagpole. Oh, yes. that's cool. I was oh, wondering. Tail. I thought it was the, um, like a hitch razor or whatever. Mm -mm. It's just a, it's a flagpole holder. And then this is a Gen Y hitch, which I got a seven inch hitch at the house, which is probably what I need for this truck. Yeah. So right now, I probably can't tell anything. It worked when it was stock, but now that it's lifted. Yeah, I like this. I want to get mm -hmm. one of these um, and a step because I'm always trying to get on top of my yeah. um, uh, tonneau cover. Because mm -hmm. in the bed, it's okay. Yeah. But like on the tonneau cover, I didn't even know they made these. They did, yeah. So it's Gen Y. Yep, okay. Gen Y. Oh, that steps from Gen Y too. Yep. Oh, my black truck, I got a big hook to pull people out. Work truck. Who's getting truck parts? That's awesome. That's a cool looking truck. Thank man. you, thank you. Because that was pretty painless. Yeah, it wasn't bad at all. Uh -uh. As you guys can see, this is a work truck. Yep. All Milwaukee tools. And then in here, 
Here's my deck, deck system with more Milwaukee tools. Yep, my ladders for roofing. That's how you know he's a is an actual like working man, blue collar, because Milwaukee tools. <laughs> I use rigid because I don't <laughs> I don't actually do this for a living. Yeah, I mean with Milwaukee, it's just kind of like it was like a, a Christmas presents and birthday presents. Yeah. I just kept amassing them over time. Have you seen this video where this guy takes his son, like a 14 year old son, to Lowe's or uh, Home Depot uh -huh. and says, here son, this is where you're going to make the decision of your life. You're going to pick one brand, you're going to pretty much stick to it for the rest of your life. <laughs> Today's the day you're going to make that decision. <laughs> well now lots of people like uh, go between different ones, Yeah. but it ends up being expensive and it's annoying because of the battery systems. Yep. Cause I got rigid and cobalt at the house. Yeah, and Ryobi. Like I got guys, you know, professional friends of mine that um, use all Ryobi because if a tool breaks, they just go out and buy a new one. Whereas yeah. when a Milwaukee breaks, you just kind of get sad for a little while. Yeah. When you save up. That's true. <laughs> you do, the do they not have warranty like that though? Uh, I mean, they do, but it's. I mean, if if you're like a, um, if you're um, like a professional, like you're just wearing and tearing, you're going through yeah. all your stuff. Yeah. That's true. And that's just kind of like the reality of it. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>